Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. The frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with a virus and other disease and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who send their private intentions. For the benefactors and friends of the Basilica. And for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Oracio Imperata. Please kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other See us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of Fiat, health of the sea. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsol. Pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us. Listen. Sing a new song unto the Lord, let your song be sung from mouth and side. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we especially offer our Mass for all the victims of the recent typhoon. We pray for those who are now suffering because of the devastation of the typhoon. We pray for one another and for all those who are in need of our prayers. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions. We pray for all those who ask for our prayers and for the intentions of this Holy Mass. My dear brothers and sisters, let us also acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. 
you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes, for Jews first and then Greek. For in it is revealed the righteousness of God from faith to faith, as it is written, The one who is righteous by faith will live. The wrath of God is indeed being revealed from heaven against every impiety and wickedness of those who suppress the truth by their wickedness. For what can be known about God is evident to them, because God made it evident to them. Ever since the creation of the world, His invisible attributes of eternal power and divinity have been able to be understood and perceived in what He has made. As a result, they have no excuse, for although they knew God, they did not accord Him glory as God or give Him thanks. Instead, they became vain in their reasoning, and their senseless minds were darkened. While claiming to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for the likeness of an image of mortal men, or of birds, or of four-legged animals, or of snakes. Therefore, God handed them over to impurity through the lusts of their hearts, for the mutual degradation of their bodies, they exchanged the truth of God for a lie, and revered and worshipped the creature rather than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims His handiwork. They pour out the word today, and night to night imparts knowledge. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. Not a word nor a discourse, whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. Please stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with the plunder and evil. You fools, did not the maker of the outside also 
make the inside, but as to what it is within, give alms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kapag tayo po ay naghuhugas ng ating pong mga pinagkainan, mapabaso man ito, pinggan, o mangkok, o bowl, di po ba ah, hindi lamang naman po yung labas ang linilinisan natin. Kahit yung loob ng baso, yung loob po ng mangkok, di ba? Ganon din po sa mga kaldero, di ba? O any na dishes na pwede natin na hugasan, di ba? Kailangan po malinis inside and out. Yan po ang basic na na paghuhugas. At sa atin pong gospel ngayong araw nito, Jesus also made use of this analogy na ang paghuhugas po ay parang din paghuhugas ng atin pong mga sarili. Ibig sabihin po, hindi kailangan or hindi pwede, sorry, hindi po pwede na malinis lang tayo sa panlabas. Ibig sabihin po, tayo ay mabango physically, tayo ay gwapo, maganda, malinis tignan, pero kapag nagsalita naman, madumi pala ang bunganga. Ibig sabihin, puro kasamaan ang sinasabi, puro kasinungalingan, o di naman kaya ay puro mga chismis, o di naman kaya ay puro pagmumura ang lumalabas sa bunganga. Pwede na rin naman po na tayo ay maganda tignan o gwapo tignan, pero ang nasa isip natin ay puro kademonyohan, di ba? Iniisip natin kung ano ang pwede natin gawang, gawin masama sa ating kapwa. Iniisip natin ng masama ang isang tao, di ba? Minumura natin ang isang tao sa ating isipan. So kahit gwapo o maganda tayo, hindi pa rin po ito buo kasi ma madumi ang ating isipan. At ganun din po ang ating puso. di ba? Kung ikaw ay maganda o gwapo, malinis tignan, pero ikaw naman ay pulong-puno ng galit. Ikaw naman ay pulong-puno ng hindi, ka, hindi mo kayang magpatawad. di ba? O pulong-puno ka ng inggit sa kapwa mo. Then, hindi ka tunay na maganda. Hindi ka tunay na gwapo. No, yan po yung sinasabi sa atin ng ating Panginoon sa ating pong gospel ngayong araw na ito. Hindi po sapat na malinis lang tayo outside. Hindi po sapat na tayo ay gwapo o maganda lang tignan. Kailangan din po ay malinis, gwapo, maganda tayo kahit ang ating panloob, ang ating puso, ang ating isip at ang kung ano po ang ating mga actions. Di ba? Yan din po ang sinasabi sa atin ng simbahan. Lalong-lalo na po ngayon parating ang eleksyon. Di ba? Ang dami na naman po magpapabango. Di ba? Ang dami na naman po magpapalinis o maghuhugas kamay na wala silang kasalanan, na wala silang bahid ng kasalanan, wala silang ginagawa pero, di ba, after ng eleksyon, puro korupsyon. Di ba? So, kailangan po matuto tayo na maging critical din po. Hindi lamang sa ating sarili dahil alam natin na meron tayo mga pagkakasala. Pero, lalong-lalo na po sa, par sa parating na eleksyon, let us be critical. Hindi porket sikat, hindi porket guwapo o maganda ay dapat iboto na natin ano ang magagawa niya sa lipunan, ano ang nasa puso niya, ano ang nasa isip niya. Kailangan po, sabi nga ni Jesus sa ating pong gospel, kung malinis ang panlabas niya, kailangan din po malinis ang intensyon niya kung bakit siya tatakbo. At yun ay dahil pagsisilbihan niya ang bayan. So let us also be critical sa atin pong mga iboboto this coming election. In as much as, let us be critical about ourselves also. 
i-check natin ang ating mga sarili. Ako ba ay malinis sa panlabas lang? Ako ba ay maganda? Gwapo lang sa panlabas? O ako rin ay malinis na may malinis na intensyon? May malinis na pagpupuso o pagmamahal? Yan po ang challenge sa atin ni Jesus sa ating pong gospel ngayong araw na ito. Amen. Please stand. Conscious of our unworthiness, we raise our minds and hearts to the Father and present our needs before Him. In every petition we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church, especially its leaders, may take to heart the task of renewal and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government officials may show sincere concern for justice, dignity, and uni unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the media personnel may lead the people to the truth and promote the gospel values. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may find hope, healing, strength, and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may reward the faithful departed with eternal happiness for their faithful service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, help us to love and to serve you in spirit and truth. Through Jesus, who is our way, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that the sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, 
and all you and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Santo, 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 Dios makapangyarihan, sa sumulhari ang lahat, upaw sana, o sana, sa kalitaasan, pinagparam na rin sa halang ng Panginoon, o sana, o sana, sa kaitaasan O sana, o sana Sa kaitaasan Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. <laughs> Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread in giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and confess the resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guarded into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shores forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us now pray the act of his spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen.
Let us pray. Please stand. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us now pray the mission prayer. God, our loving Father, you sent your Son into the world to proclaim the good news of salvation to all, to sinners, the poor, the oppressed, the abandoned and neglected. He gave his life on the cross for us and rose again to new life to redeem us and reconcile us with you. You sent your Holy Spirit to the apostles to continue the work of your Son, and to lead all to salvation. We thank you, Father, for bringing us from darkness into light. Through your loving plan, 500 years ago, missionaries came to our land to proclaim the gospel of Jesus, your Son, to our ancestors that made us your people and the church. The gift of faith has accompanied us through both darkness and lights, defeats and victories of our history as your people. Our faith has become for us true light that shines in the darkness. Renew in us the grace of your Spirit that impels us to be witnesses of Jesus, your Son, to a world broken by greed, violence, injustice, sickness, and suffering. May our faith bring us to unity as your children, to care for and love one another. May the Holy Spirit empower us to be proclaimers of the good news to our brothers and sisters in Asia and to all nations. Give us a sincere desire to help others to come to faith in the Lord Jesus, to share in your joy and life. May the Blessed Mother, the star of evangelization, accompany us and pray for us as we live and share our faith with others. May our strong love and devotion to her, as our mahal ni ina, form us to be true disciples and witnesses of Jesus to all, always ready to be sent and to be obedient to whatever Jesus asks of us. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady of Piat. Pray for us. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Let us now pray the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious ones, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus. They have pierced my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I to offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits, and in the hope of receiving new blessings, 
which you know I need in life. Deign, the dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And the special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of God, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.